October 10, Memorial of St. Francis Borgia A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Jesus said to his disciples, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give him the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord Knock and the door will be opened to you. Jesus teaches his disciples to be persevering in prayer. Prayer is not a one-shot deal. In the Greek original, Jesus' command is better expressed thus, keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. They should keep praying until their petition is granted. Jesus' disciples should be people of prayer. Prayer is a lifestyle, a lifelong, non-stop activity. As humans, we are always in need, ever asking favors from God for ourselves and for others. We have been doing it since we were kids and learned how to pray. Never mind if our petition is not granted immediately or never will be, as long as we continue praying. No prayer is ever wasted. Jesus does not intend the Our Father to be recited only once.